Thousands of travelers fly over them daily to and from Boston, yet they know little of their existence. Few people outside of Boston have ever heard of them, although seven million people live within a 50-mile radius of them. Even most Bostonians are only dimly aware of the islands of Boston Harbor. They're still undiscovered by the vast majority of people in the Boston area and throughout the region and country. What are some of the best places you think that they would love to know about or love to go if they would just get themselves out there? Spectacle Island, uh, which is what I call the extreme makeover, which has been transformed from a, a city dump and trash, trash disposal area, is actually uh, uh, now a lovely uh, island with walking trails, which are both walkable for both uh, senior citizens and also uh, any age group. And there's also electric cars there uh, to take people around if, if they are uh, handicapped. But it has wonderful views of uh, the harbor in the city of Boston and an excellent visitor center, and it is certainly worth uh, going out there. Uh, Pettix Island is a very interesting island in that it's uh, one of the largest islands it does have actually some uh, old summer huts, houses that uh, still enjoyed. People still live there. And uh, they're restoring the Fort Andrews out there. It is a lovely island to walk around and to uh, the shoreline is to pick up sea glass and just to uh, relax and uh, recreate and contemplate. George's Island yeah, it has, has a highly restored Fort, Fort Warren, which is the centerpiece, was uh, and still is, of the islands as far as its historical interest. Used as a uh, Confederate prison uh, uh, camp for uh, during the Civil War, and has a, a very interesting history and one of the famous ghost stories associated uh, with the islands is the Lady in Black. My favorites, they are truly wilderness islands, and these are the uh, Brewster Islands, uh, and uh, they are the farthest most, and they are truly wild, rock-bound islands. Uh, you can get on them if you're a private boater and you're a little intrepid, but to walk through and see the uh, all the migratory birds and the gulls and everything that rest there, and even seals. You can see seals off the rocks, on the rocks off there. Uh, and then Boston, always in the distance, and then you look uh, eastward in the Atlantic, in the expanse of the Atlantic. It's, it is truly a, a, a maritime and, uh, well, frankly, almost a spiritual experience out there. Boston Light is, uh, uh, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's the oldest extant uh, working lighthouse in the country. On South Shore, uh, believe it or not, uh, the most beautiful is not an island, and it's World's End. And this is part of, you know, people don't think of World's End, but it is part of the national park that they erected there. And, uh, you know, frankly, I've gone there many times, all seasons, and uh, the truth is uh, that is really a gem. This is Sue Scheibel reporting for the Patriot Ledger.